now. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to say now. <laughs> now we're live? I think we now. are live, but now you know how live. Facebook is like delayed? It's like, I don't know when it's actually going live, but anyway, we're pretty, I'm sure we're live now. Um, hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of CF 2.0 Geek Out. You may notice that we uh, are short an Andrea, but we've gained a Dan, so I think that's a pretty good trade-off today. <laughs> this is Dan Havy. For those of you that don't know him, you, I mean, you should. If you don't know Dan, you should, yes, and you need you to should. go and follow everything that he does and go to his YouTube channel and all those things. And send um, me money. Yeah, <laughs> send him money. <laughs> um, I, I didn't even have an intro prepared for you, but you know what? Oh, man. I need to make sure our, our audio I forgot. is good. I lost my PowerPoint slides, too. I don't know where they went to, so <laughs> we're just going to have to wing this. Let me just make sure really quick that audio is good because that is usually a problem that I struggle with. So, yeah, yours, yours tends to cut in and out all the time on the on Facebook, but right now what I'm hearing is, is good. Yeah, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. If you guys are watching, we've got Ivy watching. Um, let us know if there are any problems. Okay, so what we are going to be talking about today is really just more of like how are we preparing for 2.0. Uh, because we are still waiting patiently for it to be in our hands before we can really dive into it and start really geeking out on it. But um, in the meantime, I think it's actually, it's a good thing because it's allowing us to prepare um, and start to think about what what we need to do for what's coming up for us. And that's what Dan's here to talk about today with us is how, what is he doing in his business? So if you guys don't know yet about what Dan does, he is basically, he takes what ClickFunnels gives us and then makes it do more <laughs> in a nutshell. That's like, that's what you, what you do, right? <laughs> well, I like to say I make it infinitely extendable. That's what you say. Yeah, infinitely and... extendable, which means it, it, what I have always, you know, since joining, I'm wearing my design hacker stuff today. Um, since joining, um, Catherine's CF design school, that's obviously where you and I met. Um, there's always these little things that pop up when I'm working with clients of like, Oh, it would be really cool if I could make it do this or, Oh, they really would like it to do this, but I can't do that with the native click funnels stuff. And Dan is always the person that I go to. I'm like, okay, Dan, like you're the wizard at all of the, <laughs> the custom coding inside of ClickFunnels. Um, how do we do this? But not only that, but this is what's so cool about what you do, Dan, is that you don't, you not only can make it, uh, you know, custom, but you make it custom using, like using ClickFunnels, using what it gives us where like other people, when they do custom, they like rewrite like everything and they do it so complicated and you just, you try to use as much of ClickFunnels as possible. So you, it's like minimal. It's, you're having to write not very much code where other people have like 80 lines, hundred lines of code. You have like three. <laughs> it's so, it's so much well, that's, simpler. That's, that's pretty accurate. Uh, yeah. uh, there, there was one site, which will not be named, yep. uh, had, and I hate the word literally, but I'll use it anyway. Uh -huh. They literally had like thousands of lines of code and I rewrote the entire thing. I think it was in 27 lines. Yeah. Yeah. And it was because I used the native elements already built into click funnels and just said, okay, take this element here and put it over here. I mean, that's all it really, any of this is really about. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's more what we do than anything else. I mean, sure. You can change some CSS. You can change, you know, how things look a little bit, but basically what you're doing is you're taking something from here and putting it over here inside of something else where it doesn't belong. And I'll show you some of that here as I, as I go through some of these sites I've been working on lately. Awesome. Building out. Okay. But, uh, go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, yeah. So you're, you're here to kind of shed some light on, um, and excuse my son who is coming in here. One second, kiddo. Um, I will help you. Um, <laughs> we have a toddler in the house. Okay. So what you are, um, what your whole business has been based on like it, as of recently, well, in the, for the last while, it's been heavily based on what click funnels is like you have created a whole program, a whole mastermind, a course on how to manipulate CF 1.0. 
And now that CF 2.0 is coming out, like, you have now, <laughs> you've like basically had to rethink like, okay, what does this mean for my business? What do I get to, what's still usable? What do I have to adjust? And so that's what Dan's going to be here talking about to us, talking to us about today. Cause I think a lot of us are kind of in that situation, maybe not as much as Dan. I think for you, it's more than anybody else, but uh, a lot of us are like, well, what does this mean for our business? What, what adjustments do we have to do? So I'm going to let you take over for a bit and I'm going to step out for a second and see what my son needs and I'll be back. Yeah. (laughs) Um, yeah, I'll start off here with, because so I, I did uh, funnel hacking live virtually. And so they, uh, they start talking about what all the changes are going to be and they keep going and going. I'm watching the presentation as, as I'm slinking down into my chair going, Oh my God, I'm out of business. Because what I really thought they were going to do is the old Henry Ford thing. If, uh, if I asked the, the people what they want, they would say they want a faster horse. They didn't know that they wanted a car. Well, I thought ClickFunnels was going to give us a faster horse. I had no idea that what they were going to do is to give us a completely new platform. So as I'm watching this, I'm like going, especially when they got to the membership site stuff, and I see that essentially what they did is they built – Kajabi inside of ClickFunnels, at least that's what I think they did, because uh, as you all know, we haven't really seen much of anything yet besides a few uh, still shots. But um, so as I see that, <coughs> I'm like, well, my, my entirety of my membership ninjas program that I just spent the last year building out is completely useless now because people can't do it anymore. And if you could, um, Susan, make it so I can share my screen. Ah, sorry. I thought I did that. Oh, I did. Uh, oh, I okay. Did. <laughs> All right. I hadn't clicked on it yet. Okay. okay. Um, but so like I said, what I was saying, Susan, is I just felt like, oh my God, I'm out of business. And so I, you know, immediately, you know, watching Tony, of course, you got Tony like the next day and I'm like, going, okay, I got to have my state change and, and all <laughs> yeah. that and, and get out of this. And it took me a day or two. And then because my brain had to rewire itself and go, okay, here's this new thing. How does this fit into my business? How does this fit into what I want? Somebody the other day was trying to tell me, oh, well, Dan, you need to be a coach. You'd be a great coach. And I said, well, that's great. Except for the fact that I don't want to do it. Mm-hmm. And so if I'm doing something every day, I'm not going to get out of bed. Yeah. Russell, his great story about that. But um, so I very quickly said, okay, what do I got to do to revamp? And I thought, well, I've done such a great job of teaching people how to use 1.0. I better be the same guy teaching how to do 2.0. But then how can I monetize that? How can I take it to the next level? How can I turn it into a mastermind? How can I create courses out of it? And so that's what I've really been doing. And I started off with something very, very simple. And I kind of looked at, okay, what do I have? What do I need? What do I want to build? And I just built out, I mean, a very simple little nothing here, but in the middle, you're going to see something there. It's called the funnel hub. Funnel hub. It is what (laughs) ClickFunnels is now going to be based on is the funnel hub and the ability to essentially blog, to be able to put up content that is SEO, um, whatever yes whatever term you want yeah to yeah like it because that's one of the search p- engines yeah you can put in your metadata everything else and actually will be picked up by the search engines and so that really had to be the center of what i was doing and then from there it's going to branch out into whatever all the other programs are to be able to sell so um where should i start here because um like i said i'm just going to show people so I, so what i basically did is so i looked at this and i said okay what are all these little boxes here and for each one of these little boxes i started making myself a list of what i got to do for each one in order to get ready for when 2.0 finally comes out mm-hmm. because once 2.0 comes out we're all going to be scrambling going okay we're creating content we're building all this stuff so I don't want to have to be building my websites, my membership sites, any of that stuff after 2.0 comes out. Yeah. So that's really what I've been focusing on the last two weeks is cleaning up stuff that needed to be cleaned up on old projects and uh, basically building out all the new stuff. So if you want to see some of the new and, stuff I'm yeah. building. And so what you mean by building out the new stuff, you're just building out your own uh your own funnel and funnel hub for your business in ClickFunnels 1.0. Obviously, we don't have 2.0 yet. 
um, so that you're ready to, that you're ready for the business to be coming to you. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, I'm mostly ready to be selling my courses. Yeah. Because that's really going to be my focus going forward is building out these courses and selling them. So the very first course I'm going to be doing is something uh, Doug Bowden was teaching us last week about doing a five, five video series, essentially, Mm -hmm. which is nothing more than a sales pitch sideways webinar, whatever you want to call it in order to get you into a low ticket product. So I might as well start with that. And uh, let me pull up this slide here. Can you see what I got going on on my screen? here? Yeah, we got membership sites 2.0. Okay. So this was from Russell's presentation at Funnel Hacking Live. So this is their mock-up of what the membership sites are going to look like. And of course, we also have access to the membership sites right here. But I'm not 100% convinced that this is actually what the framework is going to necessarily look like. Mm -hmm. Because they could have just mocked this thing up and put it out there for us too. Yeah. So I'm not, I mean, I think it's going to be close, but we'll see. But so I looked at this and said, okay, well, this is how Russell built his out. And here's the part where here are the lessons. And he's got an image of himself and you see all the text and everything on the screen. So I said to myself, okay, so for my free product, what do I want it to look like? Well, I decided I want it to look like this. Mm -hmm. So I started building this one out last night and it's not complete. I got a little bit more work to do on it, but here is my version of that same page. Now this is built in ClickFunnels 1.0. Yeah. And this right here, you see here as I hover over it, I got to still have to fix that there. This is actually the navigation. These oh, okay. elements right here are the navigation inside of ClickFunnels. Now, again, I still have to finish this up here because you even see over here in the code, I was just, I'm just taking the code inside of the, the console and just sticking it in there. Yeah. Um, so it basically though, it's, it's one line of code in order to take each one of these. And so think about a regular, let's just find a regular uh, click funnel site. So mm-hmm. here you got your regular navigation, your lessons right here. Well, what you're seeing on the page, this here, that is this element right here. Okay. That's so the what lesson. I did. Yeah. So what I did is I took and I created a section at the bottom of the page. In fact, I can show you that here. So I created these sections at the bottom of the page and inside of the section, I got a two column row. Over here on the right, I just have an icon. Mm -hmm. Over here on the left, this is actually the image feature element. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I took the image feature element. I put in an image on the left, Mm -hmm. text, stuck it in here. Then what I did with one line of code again, Mm -hmm. you take this entire section and you stick it inside of, uh, you stick it inside of this here clean up the Very CSS cool. a little bit and away you go. And then on top of that is something I'd done inside of my membership ninjas training is I did what I call a mobile first design where you actually take the content and you insert it underneath the lesson. So I click on this lesson and I open it up and it actually puts the content right there underneath it. Yeah. So you click it again, it will close this up. I come down to the next one. I click on this. Boom. The content will be right below it. That's cool. So it's it's like uh, the collapsing and expanding kind of. Uh, like an accordion. Yeah. I'm trying to think or of the F-A-Q word I'm trying to think of. But, but because you have put it. Like what's the significance of putting it into the navigation menu? Like what does that allow you to do that? Just building it as like regular elements and not in navigation like what's the what's the benefit of putting it in the navigation um the reason you put it in the navigation because when you click on the navigation it knows which content to pull up so if i were to just make this an element on the page and then when i click on it it opens up this content Mm -hmm. what i would have to do is i would have to say i'd have to have the navigation somewhere else on the page And I would have to say when somebody clicks on this element right here to simulate clicking on the corresponding lesson inside of the navigation, which would then open up the content. 
Got it. So, so that video is... is like if you were to go in the back end of your membership area and you're like editing your lessons, that's where you put that video in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So each lesson will just simply have a video in it because that's all I need because the title is above it as mm -hmm. well as whatever blurb I want to put in here as well. Mm -hmm. And so actually by building it this way is much simpler than building it the other way because all I say then in the code, in fact, I'll just show you the code. It's, it's the simplest code in the world in that, uh, I mean, here, what actuates this entire thing is this right there. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because what it says is when somebody clicks on one of the lessons to take the content and stick it after it. So that's what this means here. Insert after yeah. this. This refers to what has just been clicked on. Cool. So if somebody clicks on, clicks on the lesson, it says grab that content element and jam it underneath there and show it onto the screen. Yeah, yeah. That's really awesome. Um, yeah, I haven't seen this done before, and it is cool. It's, it's, it's just fun to see how you can take what they are saying 2.0 could, could look like, what theirs is looking like, what their mock-up is looking like, and you can already accomplish it in 1.0. <laughs> well, yeah, and, but it and takes well, you've, seen, you've seen my stuff where I built uh, Kajabi clones, I clone yeah. click funnels, funnel flicks page. They built theirs originally in WordPress. I built mine inside of click funnels. Mm -hmm. And um, so you can build anything you want. And I'll yeah. show you a couple more things here real quick then. Uh, what else did I have open? Okay, so here's my CF Ninja hacks. So we, we had already looked at this briefly. Uh, but what we did inside of here, and I did this inside of a bunch of them now. Well, actually, let me show you this one first because this is it, that one here. There we go. Because here's, here's the membership ninjas. And so we did some kind of cool things in here um, regarding how things open and close and stuff like that. So we open up a whole bunch of this stuff, and then we click on one. Everything closes itself up. Yeah. So if I, like I have that. a bunch of other stuff open searching and, for something and, yeah <laughs> so everything slides together closes up as we're clicking on stuff and of course you got your previous next built right into here uh, but then in this one here well yeah let's we'll, we'll work backwards here this one here is what i'm calling the funnel code so this one over here this was membership ninjas this is an existing already built out membership area but here is what i'm calling the funnel code and this has been something I've been wanting to do for a long time mm -hmm. because people, a lot of people are saying, okay, I want to learn CSS. I want to learn how to do the stuff that you do, but I don't want to have to pay you every time to do it. So I want you to teach me how to do it. And that's what this is going to be about in here is teaching people the JavaScript, HTML, uh, CSS, everything you need in order to be able to build out the stuff that I build out. Yeah. And at the same time, I could just send you to a CSS tutorial but I'm going to teach you and show you how to do it then inside of ClickFunnels. Mm -hmm. So here's, here's boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's say we're just doing box shadows. Here's how to do box shadows. Here's a whole bunch of different cool tricks you can do with box shadows. Um, but then here's how we're going to do it inside of ClickFunnels. Yeah. And I'm not working on any of this yet, really, because I need to show people how to do it inside of 1.0 and inside of 2.0. And the code of 2.0 that I've seen is different. It's not... Mm -hmm huge difference but there's enough of a difference that i really can't be shooting the videos yet right because of how you have to select the elements right um so i built this out to house that program that's going to probably be thousand dollar program or something uh, i haven't decided quite yet but so i put a couple of bells yeah. and whistles in here that's, we can op that's open cool. and close the sidebar and we can also go then to different this is essentially, these are sections inside of ClickFunnels. And as I click on different buttons, mm -hmm. it'll open up different sections in the sidebar. And of course, we have previous next. But the other thing I built in here is we have um, progress tracking. Mm -hmm. So I can come down there at the bottom and click on mark as complete. Now, what I don't like and haven't liked since I built this is the fact that you got to scroll all the way down to the bottom. I also have a mark as favorite in here. So you see then over here, it does that, yeah. stores it into a database, so that the next time the person comes in, they'll see these marked here and they'll know which ones they favorited, which ones they already, what they already went through. Mm -hmm. So like I said, I don't like this down here at the bottom. So the other day I was rebuilding my CF Ninja hacks and 
I decided, hey, why don't I just put those little icons up here at the top? And so I did that. But then I thought, well, is somebody going to know what that is? I mean, I guess if they click on it, they'll figure it out maybe. So what I did is I put, well, hang on. Let me reload the page. It's working. As I reload <laughs> the page, because uh, something is not working right. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there it is, yeah. Yeah. So it hovers I over it. In, I built in some tool tips. And so as you hover over it, it tells you exactly what it is. So if I click on it now, it will do it. We can go mm -hmm. to the next one and we'll click on it. And then all you got to do to turn it back off, um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory once I put those little tool tips in there. Yeah. So we have That's that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then um, because I clearly like in doing this stuff, oh, and before I go on, so on, the, on this one here, so here's 1.0 and then here's 2.0. And so we can click on 2.0. Obviously, there's nothing in here yet. Mm -hmm. And um, that's mostly going to be Wasabi OTO stuff in here. So when people come in, there might be a little bit of free content. But for the most part, they're going to click on something. It's going to send them to a sales page. Mm -hmm. Or I'm going to have the sales page just probably pop up right in here. And then um, my intention is to sell this for $97. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be my entry level. So we're going to send people from this course over here over to this one here to buy the $97 product. Yeah. Which is essentially going to be the equivalent of my ClickFunnels 1.0, but for 2.0, but I want people's money. So they have to give me a, a measly little 97 bucks for it. <laughs> which so, is uh, worth it. Now, I, before you, before you move so. on though, I was just going to ask like, so you already have all of this that we see here is already ClickFunnels 1.0. It's already made. You already have so much content for that. And you're keeping it, I'm assuming, because there's going to be people that are still going to need it. Do you ever see a time when you're going to phase out 1.0 stuff? Or is it just really... Just well, depend on what ClickFunnels ends up it'll doing. It'll get phased out. It'll get phased out when ClickFunnels phases out 1.0. Yeah. Because at this point here, I don't see me getting rid of my 1.0 account ever. I've got over 800 funnels. Mm -hmm. And what? How? I'm not moving that stuff. <laughs> um, I, yeah. As long as people are using 1.0, and and what you see here with 1.0 membership sites, in my mind they are far superior to anything they can build that looks like a Kajabi clone. Yeah. But, Depending but, are, on people, how... but are people going to go through that trouble? I don't know. Probably not. Well, yeah. And I think it's what what's going to f essentially force people to eventually move over to 2.0 is if they do want the all-in-one solution. Because if you're using 1.0 and then you have stuff in 2.0 and then you want to take advantage of like, the email automation and like the funnel, um, all the funnel split testing, the new flow stuff that they have and the CRM stuff, like you're going to have to have everything in 2.0. So I think that's going to be what ends up almost forcing people to move if they're wanting to use all those other things from ClickFunnels. If they're happy with all their third party stuff, then I don't see why they would yeah, just stay. But somebody, somebody can be on the $97 plan or even on the, whatever they said, the maintenance plan on 1.0 and still run their membership sites on 1.0 mm -hmm. and do everything else in 2.0. I mean, you're right. The way they have everything integrated together yeah. uh, is going to be super cool, but doesn't mean that you still can't be selling a 1.0 membership site out of 2.0 mm -hmm. because yeah. it's still just a product. Right. Right. It just, so it's, yeah. It's when product, you give somebody a link to it, they go. Yeah. They, uh, yeah, and it's going to come down to if, if people uh, want to, it, what's it, is it worth moving it to be able to get those extra features? Like I'm imagining like you're going to be able to tag people based on where they're at inside of your, in your course. And like, I, I'm, I don't know that for sure, but based on what I have seen, there's going to be like really cool stuff that you're going to be able to do, but is it worth the effort like to yeah. get those extra features? And sometimes yeah, so it's going to, you know. Yeah, so I don't know if this is what you're talking about. I mean, this is a possibility. I don't know, again, if it's going to be built in. But yeah, once somebody gets through, let's say, the fifth lesson, you send them, it, it triggers an email or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Will that be built in? I don't know why I not. I think it's so, good. from what I've seen, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. it'll be interesting. But so, yeah, I uh, mean, it's a lot of work to move all that stuff over to. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, in members of area stuff, because it's not going to be a one-click it's going to be, it's going to be one build at a time. 
you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. Uh, and everybody who's on 1.0 can just stay there for a while. I mean, they don't have to go anywhere. Yeah. But I wanted to show everybody here okay. just just because I had so much fun building out this animation. I have to show them. <laughs> Is this the one that you were showing me the other day? Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> what I wanted here was to be able to give the people a choice once they come in here to see if Ninja Hacks. So you can just go to see if ninjahacks.com if you want to see this animation. Um, and you, I wanted them to be able to click on one or the other. So here we click on here, boom, slides up. We got this. But I started looking at it and go, how can I do that? I want to kind of keep the spinning thing because that's what this site is known for. Yeah. And then I just finally dawned on me. It's like, well, wait a second here. Each one of these sides is actually a div. Now, this here was built with HTML. This, this cannot be native ClickFunnels elements. This mm-hmm. was built 100% with HTML. And then uh, I just said, okay, well, why not do this? Once it gets to a certain point, let's just have, have these sides come flying off. So the first iteration was just having them fly off. Well, then I added on and added on and put in the flashing light to make it look like it was really blowing up and, and the whole thing. And, and like I said, yeah. this kind of stuff I do on Saturday and Sunday just to have fun. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, most people wouldn't think this was fun, but it really was fun building this. And I learned a ton. Yeah. And that's the coolest part about it. But there's that. I want to show you one other thing because uh, so I showed you the progress tracking and everybody mm-hmm. always wants to know the progress tracking and how to do that. And so we we figured that out in Membership Ninjas yeah. uh, a while ago. But where was the other one? Oh, here's here's one here. What is the other thing that everybody always wants in Catherine's stuff? Badges. OK, well, <laughs> <Not> badges, badges. <laughs> badges, can, badges can be done here. OK, uh, Bad, the other thing with with the uh, progress tracking because that's all about saving data to a database. Right. I'm not, I'm not sure what, what no. you have happening. Oh, the fireworks. <laughs> yes. So if you want fireworks, come talk to Dan, pay him some money. And yeah. He'll get you some I don't fireworks. know how to turn this. Hang on. We're going to have to let it run through. It runs for like 20 <laughs> seconds. So I can't turn it off. There we go. <laughs> I should, I should put a kill button in there. <laughs> so, so you can just turn it off. But yeah, so that's like the other thing. People are like, oh, the badges. And then how do I have the fireworks, fireworks. and the sound go off? And so I, I sat down one day. I got tired of people asking me how to do it. So I sat down and I wrote the code for it. And the biggest part of the code realistically is, where does it come in here? Um, not that... Where do I put that in? Either way, it's it's <laughs> actually it's actually a JavaScript library that you pull in. Uh, okay. So you pull in this one bit of code, and that's exactly how they did on Catherine's thing too. Is they pull in this one bit of code, and then it, down here, um, audio fireworks. I don't know. One of these lines down here. I forget now been a couple days since I, oh here we go show fireworks mm-hmm. so you just put that in there and it runs this function down here at the bottom and it tells it whether you want the sound on or off so in this case here i turned the sound off but so all that noise you heard are actually two different um audio files playing okay so as after you click the button to click you need something to make it happen yeah yeah, it has to and so you got to click the button, and well, even with Catherine, so you mm-hmm. click the submit button, and that's what triggered it. Yeah, and so then it goes through, and it just uh, plays the horns. <laughs> and so here I have it set for uh, two thousand. Is that how 20, long it plays? <laughs> was twenty thousand milliseconds. So if I do this now, it will only do it for two seconds. Oh, okay, so we'll it do it here it fast so. then. <laughs> At least maybe. I think it should only do it for maybe, two it, maybe it didn't update it. Maybe it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. We'll just put the zero back in there and we'll just. It's <laughs> still going. No, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's like all the time you see people asking, how do you, how do, you do the fireworks? Well, yeah. now we know. Well, Dan figured yeah. it out. And, and, and like I said, as you see here, um, but there's somewhere in here, I thought there was somewhere in here where I put in a file because that should be it, but that's, that's not it. 
So <laughs> I'm going to look at this again, f- figure out how I did. I, I, you know, I wrote this a week ago and I'm so old now. I just forget everything. Uh, so that's why, that's why I write it down. That's why I shoot videos. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've said this many times. It's like how many times I've had to go back and watch my own videos mm-hmm. <laughs> to remember how to do something, especially SMTP or something like that. So right. I shoot the videos as much for myself as for anybody else. And the more but you I explain think, it, the easier it is to understand what you even did <laughs> to yeah. make it work. Well, and that's it. I mean, yeah. it's the old thing. If you want to really learn something, teach it to somebody. Yep. And that's I that has very, very much been proven out for me for the last few years, ever since I started teaching this stuff. Uh, it's, it's, it, it just gets easier every day, the more you teach. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, this is awesome. Um, okay. So kind of to sum it up, CF 2.0 is coming out. You built your entire business on teaching people how to do things with click funnels 1.0 <laughs> and yeah, you kind of had a bit of a freak out. I was there next to Andrea <laughs> right after it got announced and you guys were chatting and you're like, yeah, but then, yeah, I think we all kind of went through that. I went through that too. Cause we do stuff in my business too, where it was like dependent on 1.0 and it was like, Oh my gosh, what are we going to do now? It's like, okay, it's okay. Just regroup. We're going to be fine. You're going to just be able to move and develop things and do the same thing that you're doing now just over in 2.0 and it's all going to be fine. And if not better in some aspects. So uh, no, no yeah. I, I think, I mean, there's going to be a learning curve on some of the new stuff, the CRMs, the um, yeah, cart funnels, sure. that kind of stuff, because that's completely all brand new, but just to let everybody know, I did just go through this again, clicked on everything. I went in here, clicked on everything. Nothing has changed. Nothing's changed. And, and, and as far as we know, nothing has changed. Yeah. So. Yeah. And we know, like you were saying the other day, we, uh, this week is Russell Brunson's inner circle week and they're probably, I mean, it today's Friday. So the week's basically over anyway, they're not going to be announcing anything or doing anything during inner circle week. So we will just keep waiting and, and just hoping that this means they're, um, making it even more ready for us to get our hands on it. Maybe they ran into some issues and they're like, oh shoot, we better fix these things before we let people start using them. Or maybe they're adding in some more things. I'm not sure, but. Well, we'll yeah, just... my preference would be, I mean, don't roll it out to us if it's broken. Right. Because as beta testers, our job is to break it. Yeah. So don't give us broken piece of crap to begin with. So right. Get it, get it working right. Give it to us because once you put 5,000 people onto it, it will break. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm just taking the time to think of everything I possibly can that I can do to get ahead of the curve and just keeping myself busy doing that. Mm -hmm. There's, there's definitely things we can do to prepare. I mean, for me, I'm figuring out like I'm going, this, I'd be doing this whether there was 2.0 or not, but going back to my roots of like, who is that that I'm actually serving? Because I actually went through this period where once 2.0 was announced, I was like, oh shoot, like there's so much opportunity that's going to be there. I'm going to have to like basically be doing two offers. The thing that I'm like wanting to focus on, like my coaching program. And I also want to take advantage of like people moving over to 2.0. So I was like, I'm going to be having like two offers out there and two messages and this week I've actually, through a lot of working through what I'm doing and, and thinking it, about it, I realized like, no, I don't have to be speaking to two different people. It can be my same people, but I'm just providing uh, for t- maybe two different needs that they have. Or it's, you know, 2.0 is solving a need for them, or the, the original need that I'm trying to solve anyway. So like for me, it brought clarity of like, I don't have to be splitting my focus with the two different things. I can merge them together. So if, if we had already been like deep into doing 2.0 stuff, I may have not had that time to reflect on that and focus in on like, no, that's not how it has to be. So I'm grateful for the, the time to, for, for us to be preparing. Yeah. And I still have to get like my, <laughs> my funnel updated. It's out, so outdated right now with things that are not even accurate anymore. So definitely dig advantage of the time to be preparing yourself and your clients and if you guys haven't watched the last two 
uh, the last two episodes that we did, those were also both on preparing. One of them was preparing your, you know, helping your parents, your, your parents, helping your clients to prepare. And then the last week was helping like how you yourself can be preparing. And then obviously today, Dan dove into to what he's been doing. So, um, just keeping myself it. busy, keep them busy, <laughs> keep things moving. And yeah, because we, we don't even know what time the timeline is looking like right now. So definitely what I've learned is don't delay anything either. If you can move forward with something, move forward with something because we don't know what the timeline's going to look like. Well, yeah. And if you got to bring somebody into 1.0 for now, yeah. I mean, 1.0 is just fine. Yeah. Build the site for them now. And um, when 2.0 comes out, if they want to flip over, you, you do it for them for cheap. Yeah. He's yep. already built it once, and I'm pretty sure the editor is going to be very similar. So the learning curve on the editor should be pretty short. So if right. you built it in 1.0, you can re rebuild that thing in an hour. Yeah, yeah. It's a, an opportunity to just provide another another service for your client and another, yeah, I agree. And one 100%. more thing I will say is do not be surprised that once this thing really gets rolled out for reels, middle of next year, end of next year, there are going to be tens of thousands of people coming back to ClickFunnels. Mm -hmm. There's oh, a yeah. lot of people who left ClickFunnels for whatever reasons, and they're on um, Go High Level or Drop Funnels or something else, and they're going to be coming back. I don't and doubt so it. Just be prepared for that to be able to help those people, and of course, do what you can to get their affiliate commissions. Because mm -hmm. I haven't heard anything about the affiliate program, but I can't imagine they're doing away with it. So I, yeah, I think in those terms too is how can you help these people? What can you create for them? You know, what can you set up so that when they're ready to come back to 2.0, you're there to help them out and they can sign up under your account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But about the affiliate program, I actually want to get your take on this real quick, Dan, before we end. Um, since 1.0 and 2.0 are totally different platforms and they're totally different accounts with totally different billing systems, people that are using 1.0 and going to move over to 2.0, do you feel like that, like, do you think the affiliate program is going to be totally brand new and reset for 2.0 specifically? Yeah. Like let's like, anyone that we have as an affiliate under 1.0 right now, they're kind of like fair game for 2.0. Not I fair game, but say, like it's going to be you know, like they're going to be brand new affiliates into 2.0, yeah. right? Yeah, I, I doubt if they're going to transfer them over. So, yeah. you know, John Doe is <clears throat> is your affiliate right now. John Doe sees 2.0 come out. He goes over, clicks on the button, signs up. You're not getting him as an affiliate. Yeah, so that's so another thing. have some existing people, start talking to them, working mm -hmm. with them, going, hey, I set up this program for – uh, 2.0, uh, come on over, um, learn, learn what I'm teaching, click the link, sign up. Yeah. Or the other thing is I was going to say share funnels, but I don't think they're actually going to have share funnels, um, the same way they did before. It's be a little bit different, huh? Yeah. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if they still had some sort of mechanism like that where you can just give them, uh, cause what were they calling workspaces or something? Mm -hmm. Uh, so you can give somebody like the entirety of everything, the products, the, the cart, the everything built, yeah. you can give that to them. Yeah. So if you're working with a lot of people, you know, our e-commerce, you build out the entire uh, workspace for a cart funnel, and then you can just hand the whole thing to them, which again is a great enticement. And somebody gets that, you know, they don't care who gets their affiliate commission. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they'll just uh, click on it and sign up. Yeah. Yeah. That brings up so many good points. Like right mm -hmm. now you could, should definitely be like contacting, staying in touch, re reigniting, um, connections that you had with your affiliates that you have, because they, if you have like kind of dropped off the radar for them, like they don't, maybe don't long, no longer follow you. Like they're probably going to end up signing up through somebody else. Um, and, but also all of these beta periods that 2.0 has to go through, um, is going to allow us time to get in there and build stuff that we can use. So when it is actually launched and open for anyone to be coming in, you actually have assets that you can be giving to people as an incentive for them to come in with you through you. So all of this is definitely time to be taking advantage of, um, for sure. Great points. 
Well, and hopefully uh, they said we're all going to, as the private beta testers, we're all going to get like five yeah. tickets to invite people. So I'm hoping that when they sign up through that ticket, as I'm going to call it, um, I, hopefully when they sign up through that, it will automatically become our affiliate. I was thinking that too, like, because they're going to have to give us all unique (laughs) invitation links anyway, so they can limit how many we're each bringing in. So they might as well just make that, you know, affiliate stuff. Otherwise, you drop a link in in your group and you get a thousand people sign up. (laughs) Right. So, yeah. So I I mean, I, I think that that's probably the way that they would go. So that assuming that that is what they do, then that's an automatic five five affiliates that we all are going to get yeah. if we're in private. Yeah, and then again, we, we have no idea what the pricing is going to be. I heard $97, but what does $97 include? Don't know. Yeah, does it, don't know is that sure, just huh? one domain? Is it just one workspace or is it unlimited domains? Now I've been told it's unlimited domains, but again, we don't have those knows. details. <laughs> yeah. You'll know sometime we will know probably come january (laughs) yeah Yeah, maybe not till then yeah yeah maybe not okay all right i think i'm just gonna double check i think we had a few people coming in and out but no questions or anything so we will sign off and um be back next week dan thanks for joining me today so it wasn't just me talking to them by myself without andrea and and sharing what you've been up to um i think it's awesome and uh tell everybody again um, where they should go if they want to check out what you have and also your YouTube channel because you put so much stuff out on YouTube too. Um, YouTube is simple. Just go to YouTube and type in my name. You'll find my channel. Uh, so it's Dan Havey, H-A-V-E-Y. You can also go to cfninjahacks.com if you want to see the cool little spinny thing. <laughs> um, that'll just take you right to a sign-up page. And then realistically, the best way to get a hold of me is just send me a PM. Yeah, awesome. That's the, I communicate more there than anywhere else. Yeah. Uh, um, and, and Dan is in this group. He is, uh, you know, one of the uh, the geek out. Uh, I don't even know what to call everybody, but. How about just geeks? <laughs> he's part of part of the geeks here. Dorks. He's always giving dorks. value like in this dorks. group and sharing stuff. Um, so you can find. Yeah, him just tag me too. if you put a put a comment in the in the group and just tag me in it, too. Cool. Awesome. You'll find, you'll find me. All right, everybody, we'll see. Oh, wait, no, we do have a question from 18. Why didn't I see that on my phone? Ivy asked a question 18 minutes ago. Um, Do you think the subscription price will stay the same? We just kind of talked about that. So, yeah, we really don't know. Uh, They said $97, but we don't know what all that includes. Yeah, I think Russell even said that on the stage, and I had somebody internal to ClickFunnels give me that number. But, again, we don't know what $97 covers. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know what that includes, um, right. but that's like the base price. Um, and then just in case you're asking about 1.0 IV, I don't know if, just in case anyone doesn't know this, um, once 2.0 is out, they are going to have a kind of maintenance mode on 1.0 that you can put your account on maintenance mode for a lesser price than what you're paying now for it. Um, but we think, I don't know if you know this for sure, if we, anyone knows this for sure, but we're assuming that that means like you're not going to be able to build anything new in 1.0. It's just whatever you have in there will continue to run and you can send traffic to it. Yeah, that's the way I understood it is, yeah. is any funnels you have in there will continue to work just fine. You just won't be able to add, um, I'm, basically I don't think you can add any new pages. I think you can yeah. fix stuff. I don't think you can Probably, add any yeah. funnels. Maybe you can add pages to your existing funnels. But again, we don't know. we'll find out over the next <laughs> couple of months. We will find out. Okay, awesome. We will sign off and be back next Friday, maybe with 2.0, but probably not. So we'll talk about more stuff next week don't about preparing. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody.